Hello there, I'm Gaurav from Logicus and I welcome you in our new lecture series for PHP web development. Now, this is a complete free series. The word complete, I mean, it is from the beginner's level to the advanced level so that till you feel the independence of doing whatever you want with PHP. Okay, so welcome to the PHP web development. Before beginning with our programming or anything else inside this PHP, I wanted to answer some of the very basic stuffs, okay? And the first question arises in everyone's mind that in this era of innumerous numbers of uh, programming languages, why PHP? Now, uh, this question is pretty easy to answer right now. But before the time we started and PHP actually came into existence and use of many different types of websites, okay? That time it was said that PHP was simply uh, a very simple programming language and it is much likely not like uh, secured as Java and uh, ASP.NET. But uh, the fact is PHP is powerful. Okay. And no one can uh, neglect the fact that today most of the websites, almost 92% of the website on the web servers are developed under the PHP of Python. So, uh, so this is the answer for that, that why PHP because simple and powerful is the best to learn and best to program whatever you want to. So PHP is a very simple language actually and that develops a very powerful program. Okay. So now thing is what? So what PHP is and how it is different from Java and other stuff. So for the PHP, okay, PHP is termed as hypertext preprocessor. Now, hypertext, we know well about the hypertext markup language, okay, and preprocessor. Now, unlike Java, we have a function in Java that Windows, on Windows load, okay, that tells it that only when Windows load perform these functions, but PHP is already a hypertext uh, preprocessor. That means, whenever a PHP page, page loads, it is already processed, okay, so it processes before it displays or shows to the user. So this is what about PHP. PHP is a hypertext preprocessor. Now where? Okay, here you are going to learn part by part every part of PHP programming language. And as I said from the basics to the advanced level of the PHP language and we are going to turn about the other libraries and all about the PHP language. But don't stop here only. Just go practice and find whatever you wanted to do across the uh, our channel or internet and don't stop once you are into the programming language enjoy the programming and do php and develop your website as whatever you wanted to okay and now how to develop in php okay as php is a scripting language or you must say a backend language or you must say a server side programming language okay so that needs a server so here we are going to use xamp server in our program and then we are going to build programming language in PHP language okay so uh, let me go and develop PHP program now but uh, this was the introduction for PHP and from the next very lecture we are going to develop programs under PHP okay so that's all for this video and next video we are going to start building our PHP programs right there okay thank you for watching Please like, comment and share this video. Please subscribe to my channel and do like this video and stay tuned to start PHP more powerfully and learn it to the advanced level. Thank you.